So we are approaching the end of January. One of the things that I wanted to do with this AFCO Bass Boot Camp was to kind of keep up to date with what's going on uh, in my life as I fished the two divisions of, of the Costa series. That first Costa wrapped up the first week of January and I don't have the second one until the last week of March on Kentucky Lake. But in between then I'll be given uh, updates every other week uh, on, on AFCO's YouTube channel. Just kind of following along some of the things that, that I do working in the professional bass fishing industry. We've had some really bad weather here in Oklahoma. I was supposed to fish a couple tournaments last weekend. Uh, that got canceled because of ice. I was doing my calendar earlier and then there's a bunch I still have to put on on that, but uh, I think there's gonna be a period of like 32 days in a row on the road uh, coming up in, in March, April, uh, and May. But until then, here's just a, kind of a little look at what I've been up to. Headed to Bass Talk Live in Moore. It's about a two hour drive and uh, this is what I do three days a week when uh, when I'm not on the road covering a uh, covering a tour event or fishing. Hi Izzy. Good. Wednesday everybody welcome once again to BTL Bass Talk Live where we're going to talk bass fishing and anything else that we want to talk about. Matthew got to tell you right off the bat uh, I experienced probably what you felt over the weekend last night. Did you get your butt kicked in a basketball <laughs> uh, here, it, Let me explain real quick. Did you guys right? lose like 80 to nothing? No 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 it was tight. Never led the entire night but. So we are headed to the Fire Lake Bowling Center. Jeffries uh, on Bass Talk Live loves to compare bass fishing to bowling. I thought there might be more people than this. The professional bowling tour is in town. Today, we're actually going to get back on the water. It's kind of a weird time of the year right here in Oklahoma. You know, I was going to fish a tournament last week. It got canceled. It's been really cold. It's been really icy, but it's supposed to get up to like 50 today. Haven't been out in, uh, I haven't been out in a week. So today we're going to go to Okmulgee City Lake. It's right next to a little lake called Dripping Springs. Uh, in the past there, I've caught them this time of the year, like in the main channel on a jigging spoon. Uh, but it's I expect it's gonna be a pretty tough bite. There's some big fish that live in there But we're gonna give it till about noon uh, Then we're gonna head over to Okmulgee uh, where my girlfriend has a barrel race. There's the mapping that we've been gifted with so Not much to go on on that Pretty much sticking with the uh, jigging spoon maybe some crappie jigs We finally caught a crappie. It's a good one too. All right, let's see if there's a couple more down there. It's on a little brush pile in 10 foot. Well, three hours. I knew with 40 degree water temp, it was, it's gonna be rough going. Found like four or five good brush piles and caught one crappie and one little bass. It's a good afternoon, weather-wise. Not great fish catching wise. 
we're out of here. Green came and got it in the quake for three. He got it. I'll take that three. That was, they drew it up that way. <laughs> Fortuitous. Whew. So the goal is I just don't want to not to knock over the barrel. Going. You know, like a five it's second be penalty. But. So I didn't catch any fish today. She didn't win any money in the barrel race. It happens. <laughs> 